Hey guys and welcome back, Squid Gaming Inc. here, and today we're gonna talk about Telraw. So Telraw is a command that came out in the actual 1.7 snapshot, or the actual third snapshot, 13w37a, we're in 30w37b, and what I've got for you today is a tutorial on how to use it. And I've actually searched one for myself for quite a while, and I really couldn't find anything good to see. Now, in the description, you've got a little site that generates you Telerial commands, but it is limited. So, if you guys actually want a Telerial command with only one extra, and I'll actually tell you what extra is later, so you can head on to this site, you can find it right in the description below and yeah <laughs> but for the rest of you guys that actually want to learn how to use the Telerial command I'm here and I'm here to teach you so the Telerial command over here we actually have <laughs> the final product pretty much quite a long command and this has two extras so I'm actually gonna teach you how to do this one but with slightly dis different text and stuff you know so you actually know everything you need to know about the Telerah, so it's quite a long command. But, and there's the output, so hi there, how are you? Great, me too, or pretty bad, I ate my life, born in hell. So as you can see, there's quite some stuff going on there. There is the actual colored text, there's, well, different colored text. There's the clickable text, there's the bold text. And yeah, so the actual clickable text, or well, the text that has events in it, is the extra, which is basically more text that has different stuff attached to it. And you can control it individually. That's the actual idea. Now, let's start with the very, very basic. Tell raw. So, ah, God. Sorry about that. Tell raw. That's the command. Now, if you're using a command block, you don't actually need the forward slash. If not, you do. Telrod, Telrod. Now, that's where you actually add the user. So, you can add a name here. You can add at A, at R, at B. You can, you know, add your arguments. Whatever you want. Here, you actually open a curly bracket. And that's where the fun begins. <laughs> yeah, I'm just messing with you. So that's where we're actually gonna start coding JSON. And yeah, so let's open these up and text. So that's the actual first argument we're gonna encounter. So we're gonna text, we're gonna do this, and now we can insert our text. So let's do how are you feeling today? Question mark. And there we go. Now if we close the curly brackets and we hit the button, how are you feeling today? You see the command block asks us nicely. There we go. Now, let's say we want this text to be in a certain color. And there are plenty of these. So let's actually add here a comma and add our next argument, color very simple and the actual let's say we want it blue just because I like blue and because <laughs> we want it to be blue close it close the curly brackets and there you go how are you feeling today now say we want this to be bold I don't know so we can actually add another argument here which will be Bold or oh man, bold. <laughs> true. True. Ah, God. True. Sorry, guys. And now you can see the text is bold. So there you actually go, guys. Now you have learned the very very basics of the Tolera command. The basic that enables you trading colors different fonts and stuff, not, well, not fonts, but, you know, bold and stuff like this, and, yeah, without the actual command block thingy, so, you know, if we actually use, mm. that's, 
say in the com in a command block how are you today then we're gonna get this at at the beginning and we don't get this at in a Toro command so yeah here we go now let's copy and paste this into our next comment oh my god there we go so now it's copied and pasted into our next command block and you can see we have quite a long command already here but now I'm gonna talk to you about extras so we've already talked about what extras are and now I gonna I wanna actually go over with you how to add an extra so to add an extra you gonna where did I paste it? I didn't oh I pressed cancel oh well Ah, oh, now I co copied this. Sorry, I'm so sorry, guys. Ah, <laughs> oh, and what's wrong with you today? So there we go. Now it's in here. Okay, now to add these, to add an extra, basically you add a comma and you add the extra argument. There we go. Now you want to add a bracket and a curly bracket for the extra. I know, kind of weird, but that's how JSON works. And now, over here, you basically have almost the same thing. So now we can add text. So let's add, I don't know, like this. Uh, great. Like that. Actually, let's add it in normal brackets just because I feel like so. You can pretty much do whatever you want here with the text. And then we can add color to the text. So let's add color. Let's make it green. Just like that. Now, say I want to close it, we're going to actually first close the curly, then the actual brackets, then the curly brackets once again of the overall thing. And look at that! <laughs> How are you feeling today? Great! Now, is it bold? Did they actually make it bold? No, that's how it looks. Awesome. <laughs> really, really awesome. We can actually do, I believe, in here. Let's try this. I'm experimenting with you guys. Bold. False. Let's do that. So, you can now see that there is no bold over there. So, yeah, <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. Now, you realize that when we over or click on the extra, there, there's pretty much nothing. So, let's actually fix this with the next part of this tutorial. So, let's copy it and paste this to the next command block and start editing. So, now we're gonna add an other, another argument to the extra called a click event and the capital E here is very very important so don't forget to add it and in a click event we actually want to add curly brackets right like this just like this and we're gonna add start adding our stuff here so I'm just delete all these closed brackets here and alright so first of all we want an action when we click the when we have a click event on the text. So we want an action of ran command. Because we want to run a command when someone clicks the text. Now, the command will be so to actually define it, we're gonna need a value of and now we can write the command. So we can actually I don't know, you actually have to add the forward slash here, so it's that. So let's out of summon a pig tilde 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 no that's actually a pretty cool thing about it no let's summon a minecart cause I don't really <laughs> minecraft really really minecart cause I don't really want a living thing right now so actually something really really cool about this over here is that the tildes are actually relative to the players location so not to the command blocks location and that's pretty cool so you can summon blocks where the player is 
instead of where the command block is. That's really awesome. And now let's close this up. So we're gonna actually, first of all, we're gonna close the actual click event, and then we're gonna close the extra, and then we're gonna close the whole thing. So that's actually kind of a confusing part there, but yeah, let's finish this up. And now, when we click this up, we have this great over here, and when we click great, it will summon a minecart or do whatever we actually tell it to. You can actually put a Telro command inside the Telro this way. So that's actually pretty cool if you ask me. Actually, let's try it out. Let me get out this command over here. Let's come over here. Let's take the summon minecart command and paste my command in there. And it won't work. So I guess there are limitations to it. Yay! Let's actually now have to mark the entire command. Yay! <laughs> okay. No idea what the limitations are in there, but that's all my command over here. There we go. So let's just TP the player to itself to himself. Cause we can, and cause it's funny. So when we actually click on it now, I get teleported to myself. Yay! <laughs> it's actually did funnier and teleport everyone to themselves. That's pretty hilarious. All right, now we're gonna actually go for the last argument. We wanna actually add in. We wanna add in in a second extra in this Telro command. How do we do it, you might ask? Let's begin and find out. So, first of all, we want to close the arguments. We do want to leave the one of the click event. So you can see this one over here. This and this are both the click events. So this is the actual click event and we actually want to close it in place. Now we want to add a comma. So we are still inside the first extra, by the way. And we want to add to the extra an argument of extra. So that may be a bit funny, a bit confusing, but that's what we actually do. And now let's start writing down. So we want the text of the extra to be pretty bad. Like this, I don't know, I guess. <laughs> want the color of it to be red. We want, I don't know, let's do the bold false. Bold false. And now we can actually do for this one, we can add a hover event. So let's add a hover event. Oh, sorry guys. Event, just like that. And it's just like a click event, just here we have different actions and stuff. So the action shall be show text. Pretty sure that's how it's written down. If not, we'll find out later. <laughs> so we should have the show text command and the value should be, let's say, I hate you, all capitalized, because I want to, and uh, notice that I forgot these over here, critical mistake, because finding mistakes in here is not easy, such a long command, man. Oh, well, here we go, another mistake, right over here, you can see I forgot these of the actual hover event. Forgot to close it down. Yep. There you go. Some of you might have spotted this already, but yeah. Now let's close the actual hover event. Let's close the second extra, close the first extra, and close the whole thing. That's actually pretty confusing, but confusing but fine. So yeah, oh wait 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 before we test it out, I actually want before it a pretty bad I want a space and let's add it 
in these as well. So we have kind of the uniform. So, are you fooling today? Great. If we click at this, it will show. It will teleport me to myself. But if you hover over this, you can see I hate you. If you actually click this, these each one of the extras it will teleport me. Because if it clicks the extra itself, the first one, then I'm building teleported to myself. So that's actually something to consider. If I will add a click event to the second one, it will be different though. So yeah. And you can see we have a hover event, we have a click event. You can actually change this to a click event if you want to. Pretty sure you can add both. So let's actually try this out. I want to actually add another click event. So let's do it. So I'm actually going to add here click event. Let's see. So action is going to be run command and the value is gonna be um I don't know tp at a 10 blocks in the air <laughs> I don't know guys you'll have to tell me and there we go close it up we will see how this one goes and it won't work so you can see it valid expected over here it forgot to do something probably let's see hover event so we can actually we actually know these are actually right closed it down and now we have the click event so you can see it's pretty much good and look, forgot to close the action. There we go. Now, if we actually hover on it, it's I hate you. If we click on it, it will teleport me 10 blocks into the air. Yay! <laughs> so there you go, guys. Today we've learned how to use the Telerock command. Hopefully I helped you guys out. If you actually want to check out the site that generates those, you can check out the description below but it will only generate one extra and not multiple ones over here you pretty much have no limitations with the extras you wanna add so yeah there you go guys if there's anything I forgot to mention out and you guys do know please tell me in the description below and let me fin <laughs> let's just finish it out with me running on air I guess I don't know see if you guys liked the video, please give it a like. If you loved it, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. It supports me. And it helps me way make more videos like this one. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.